the $20 Mercari graphics card experience. Alright, so here's a funny package I just got. Um, in case you're wondering, I know I did not order a jitterbug. Flip. Um, this is a package I just got. Um, something I ordered from Mercari. And this will only be the second time I've gotten something from Mercari. The first time the item was packaged pretty well, but this time, this is more of the type of packaging I'd expect from a seller on Mercari. Um, this is 2019, it says on the box. So this is a jitterbug from recent times. Um, included in the box is a, or was a jitterbug flip phone, battery pre-installed, wall charger, charging dock, USB cable, and user guide. Pretty funny packaging. All right, let's get that out of here. Here's our item. You can see bubble wrap. Wonderful bubble wrap there. And it's kind of, well, not covered up at all by this. Um, it's wrapped in saran wrap. And, you know, it's like leftovers, I guess. Someone's leftovers of their computer. It's a graphics card. So let's see if we can't get some saran wrap off of this thing. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I can tell it's, it is disgusting as well as you'd expect. Oh, we're going vertical now. Oh, there's some dust coming along with it, too. Look at that. Oh. All right. Well. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I do not look forward to sticking my pingles into that right there. Oh, I can smell it, too, I think. Unless that's just... Oh no, that's that thing. Yep. Okay. Let's get a good old close-up of that right there. That situation right there. You see that right there? That's a graphics card fan. Matter of fact, let me... Yeah. I figured it would just go up off of it when I did that and it didn't really... Ugh. That's rough. It's not, uh, well, I was about to say it's not rusted at least, but it is. All right, so here we go with the great reveal. This has got to be down the downright um, dirtiest computer component I've ever seen in my life. Even this thing is dirty. <laughs> Even this thing is covered in dirt. All right, let's see if it'll come off here. There it is. There you go. Let me put that down. The thermal paste is dry, unsurprisingly. This is a graphics card from around 2009. Um, oh boy. Oh, it's packed. I mean, it is totally packed. Look. <laughs> oh. 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 That's rough. That's really rough. That's got to be pets. That's so... Look at that. You see that? Can you see that on camera? Over here on the uh, right side of it, there's so much of it. It's like solid. You can't see through. You're supposed to be able to see through over here. You can see my finger there. You see my finger waving around over there. Through it. Over here is completely solid. Oh, boy. Be gone. Be gone for you disgusting dog hair. Hairballs. This is the kind of thing that'll make you dislike animals even more. It doesn't help that my Discord server is infested with furries, of course. Mm. 
All right, I'm taking it apart the rest of the way. There's only four more screws you have to take apart to get the heat sink off, and that just just separate those. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna give it a good old toothbrush treatment. The um, thermal paste is on there so good it doesn't even come off with the toothbrush. And look like I can use the back of it. Look at that. There's a use for that side of the toothbrush. Clean off the thermal paste. But anyway, we're not. Thermal paste is the least of my problem, my worries with this, and the problems with it. All right. Well, that was awful. Um, just got done scraping each individual flan, fan blade with the toothbrush. Um, and it's, yeah, it's better. Pretty good. So I'll leave that out for a few days to dry. And I also scrubbed this thing um, with the toothbrush. Once again, it's better than it was a couple hours ago when I pulled out of that box. I did end up taking some of the sticker along with it, but yeah, it's not great. Not my best work, but just kind of quickly got it cleaned up a little bit. So there you go. I guess I'll give all that stuff a couple days to lay there, and then I'll test it out. All right, there it is. I've got it hooked up into the uh, X58 computer there. Can't really see it though because it's such a short little tiny graphics card. But anyway, we're going to try some video games here. And of course, unsurprisingly, first up is going to be Counter-Strike Source. And um, because I'm using this uh, nice fancy monitor here that I got, uh, we will have audio as well. So that's exciting. Alright, so as you can see there, we got it set on high settings, and we are going to go to this server right here. I will admit it would have probably been interesting to... to it would have probably be, been interesting to uh, see how it performed before cleaning, but um, just go, go back and take a look at that thing. One, take one more good look at that thing before I cleaned it up. And, Tell me if you would have liked to put that in your computer. Let's get on a survey. Alright, well what a surprise. It works fine. Alright, so I'm going to quickly pop on to a Dust2 match. Uh, the settings are everything at the lowest settings it can possibly go to. Alright, let's see how it does here. Ooh, hopping right in here. This match just started. Looks like my settings are right. I've got the right sensitivity. Alright, we're sitting in the 70s as far as FPS is concerned. Feels good though, I mean it's not, there's no hitching, there's no stuttering. Let's see, oh, well I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm, I'm dead now, but um, it was, it's sitting in the 70s, that's pretty good. Just watching this guy here, ooh, it went in the 40s there. A little bit of a dip. Um, yeah, but I mean this is, 
this is honestly this is playable. Um, I could handle it. If you set the resolution down, if you set the resolution down to 1600 by 900, the performance would probably be quite a bit better as well. But I'm playing this on 1080p. Um, I mean, you know, that's that's the least you can ask for from a graphics card these days, I guess. Come on, we got pro gaming moments with this graphics card. All right. Where is the last one now? Is it, it's probably AFK or something. Oh no. Come on, I can do this. Using an HD 5750, I mean. Come on now. Oh, all right. I'm just gonna just gonna leave that there. But anyway, you you saw it. You saw it. It was pretty good. 60 FPS. Um, even uh, over 60 FPS at sometimes, but it did dip down a couple times into the 40s. Okay, so we're in the game, um, sort of. It's loaded at 1280 by 720. Um, I don't, I don't have the slightest idea how to play this game, but it's working. Look, 80 FPS. That's not too bad. It's, it's even is is cooler than it was with um, CS Source, 73 degrees. Not bad at all, honestly. I don't have a steering wheel, obviously. So I'm playing this with a keyboard, but I mean, just looking at how it's running, uh oh. Yeah, so it's around 90 FPS. That's not too bad. It's this 720p again, but I yeah, I just kind of I just kind of launched the game and whatever it uh, whatever it gave me, I, I took, and that was what it gave me. 720p in this weird resolution, but hey. Not the worst uh, experience I've had with a set of Corsa in the past. So there you go, HD 5750 working fine. That's a few benchmarks just to give you an idea that this car does work. Let's close that. And um, yeah, not too bad. HD 5750, they can be had on eBay for under $50. If you need a graphics card, it's, you know, you could do worse. Where is it? There it is. There you go. So, a GT730 right there could do worse so thank you very much for watching um, and uh, yeah if you watch this far into the video um, alright then I guess I don't know what to say about that but anyway I thought I closed you close there you go alright thank you for watching and stay safe out there